important part. It will occur, but it'll take a lot longer, like years longer. And the other part is, oh, we've got to go and get a feed. Oh, we've got to go, we've got to go way up there. No, I don't want to walk all the way up the top, but if I create my shopping centre here, the grass here, he'll come to us. Just common sense. That's right. Just common sense. The black fella firm version of farming, I suppose. Yeah. Where, where did you come into Australia? Sydney? Uh, from... Where are you from? Where I am from Poland. Yeah, yeah, but when you came to Australia, which... To Adelaide. Adelaide. Adelaide, okay. You know where Sydney is? Yeah, of course. Okay, you know where Melbourne is? Yeah, of course. My people, our country goes from Sydney to Melbourne. Oh, oh. All the coastline. Wow. Mm. 13 clans, maybe 1,800 kilometres. How many people now? Yeah, you see me or crumb. Maybe 275,000. Wow, pretty bad. But we felt the brunt of the 39th Regiment, first colonisation. <laughs> You're from Poland, yeah? So you understand that certain villages, you can tell where a person's from yeah. because of their pronunciation. Yeah. Same yeah. language, but Some a little bit accent, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Say accent. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're from there. Same with my mob. We have one, two, three. Three, three dominant languages, and then we have sub-dialects around there, which I say tomato, you say tomato. It's close enough. It's, it's also about geography. 10,000 years ago, the high tide mark was 34 kilometres further out to sea. 20,000 years ago, the high tide mark was 137 metres higher than it is now. So people moved. So the people that you say are desert people weren't always desert people. 20,000 years ago, they were sea people. Yeah. And you can see it on the bottom of the ocean. You see it here, where there's conglomerate, which comes from the bottom of the ocean, here. That's this fair. was the high tide mark. Oh, actually not here, a little bit further in. These were rock outcrops where people go fishing. The people were actually living further up there because the height of the water was different. So people migrated, moved in and out and around and stuff. Difference is that with the movement of the water height was the ability to move to the next clan and, and, and negotiate and mediate a relation where your family needs to live and support themselves without the requirement to go to war over land. My language, Dorka, is near Walgan Bunyarin Yarin, Urdu is Bainji, Manura is Walbanja. Mabujan's Bunyani Nyanin, Manya Tang is Dorga. What I said was, my name is Walgan Bunyani Nyanin. Before Romans conquered a lot of Europe and applied surnames for taxes and censuses, yeah. is my people, and still today, have a, a family totemic, which is a surname, pretty much. But by introducing myself by that surname, you can tell what my bloodline is and where geographically in the world I'm from yep. just by me saying my name which is very important in a patriarchal society where woman will introduce herself and in Europe or in Australia you sit and they go is that her married name or is that her maiden name whereas by her introduce herself by you know exactly who she is but more importantly you know your relationship to her her to you is she your family your responsibilities to her and her to you um, kinship system and not dissimilar to Europe either we have um, marriage law judicial political spiritual before the church became too indoctrinated in politics in Europe and they created separations of the powers in most of the world your spiritual leader can be your social worker can be your magistrate the same person not separation of powers but also with that comes language so a lawyer speaking in the High Court of Australia does not speak to his family at home in the same language, does he? He tailors it to suit. So same with our language, you have levels. The beauty of that, I imagine it would be similar in Poland, is when the old people are talking and someone's eavesdropping, and they say, oh, I heard them two talking, the first question someone's listening to that gossip is, what language were they using? Because if we were born on old language ceremony, we're talking about things that affect everyone. We're talking ringage, we're talking about like state level. We're talking dialect, um, local language. We're only talking about issues that are local because you can't talk about higher complex issues using dialect because it's inappropriate. Yeah, that's right. And, but, the, but the beauty of that is there can't be any ambiguity about what we're talking about because there's a language to go with it. Mm. So it's exactly the same as federal law, state law, shire council or high court, Supreme Court, Magistrates Court. 
the same one, you know which level you're talking at. Yeah. And certain individuals can only sort of talk about certain topics. Yeah.